It's the end of daylight saving time this year, but could it be the end of daylight saving time forever? KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live in Colorado Springs explaining what we know about the future of time. Annabelle. Spencer, today I spoke with people in downtown Colorado Springs, asking them what they knew about the future of daylight saving times. And there is a lot of confusion surrounding what's happening on Capitol Hill with that. But they had strong opinions on what they'd like to see done. I just wish it would go away. <laughs> daylight saving time. I'd like to eliminate daylight savings time. If I could. It's a talker in households across the nation here in Colorado Springs. I keep asking my husband today, like, what time is it? What time is it? <laughs> because it's so confusing. And in Washington, D.C. Studies have found that year-round daylight savings time would improve public health, public safety, energy policy, mental health. The U.S. Senate passed the Sunshine Protection Act back in March. It's a bill that would make daylight saving time permanent, getting rid of the biannual change. But the passage of that bill is at a roadblock. Stuck in Congress with the House split on what to do going forward. It'd be nice if it was just standardized and we didn't have it throughout throughout the entire nation. Um, it'd make things a lot simpler. But the Coloradans we spoke with are in agreement. I would like them to make a decision, you know, whether it stays or goes. They want an answer and hopefully one that keeps time ticking the same all the time. It would be nice to, to keep my family on track as well as myself and every other working adult. <laughs> And there are only 16 days left in the current Congress, which means if this bill doesn't pass through, it will have to start all over. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. Well rested, Annabelle Childers. Thank you. There